what if fine watchmaking was a 21st century invention? What would it look like? When you design a product, whatever product, you always have to think of the user. We want to create the most intuitive watches in the world. You can only have that by thinking of the user and putting the, the person that, that wears the watch at the core of everything you do. When you take a fine watch, they are usually designed starting from the movement because that's the core for a watchmaker. We start the opposite way. We start with the user. When you have this type of approach, you can only end with a completely different way of looking at fine watchmaking, basically. Vraisons would not have been possible 20 or 30 years ago. It's something that appealed to a very young generation that are trying to challenge what is happening today. At the end of the day, that's what Vraisons is all about, is a community of like-minded people. And the fact that we are trying to improve the mechanical watch and improve something that has been the same for decades, there are new technologies constantly arriving. So who knows what's next and what we're going to use? What, what is sure is we are trying to keep the integrity of a mechanical watch. The Type 3 was so different that there wasn't a category for the watch. Fortunately, Philippe Stark was one of the jury members. His support in favor of the Type 3 was that suddenly Ressence entered the world of fine watchmaking. The time is always a little bit of a mystery. The horlogery is a miracle, especially in Ressence. A montre est en trois dimensions. Et Ressence a eu l'incroyable courage, folie, de faire une montre qui est en deux dimensions, puisqu'on voit l'heure à plat. C'est étonnant quand tout le monde autre essaye de montrer des strates et des strates, des profondeurs d'engrenage. Là, on dit, on radicalise, c'est plat. Il y a l'idée derrière que ça baigne dans un fluide. Et moi, j'aime bien les choses cohérentes. J'aime bien les choses harmonieuses, et pour moi, le temps est un fluide. C'est pour ça que j'aime ce petit miracle horloger qui est Ressence. The saying goes that when something looks simple, it's complex to achieve. A Ressence looks simple, but everything else is not. You have to think that all the components of, of a Ressence are tailor-made. The Type 2, when we decided to do this project, Tony Fadel was already one of our important collectors. This is a guy who likes traditional watches. He is also a guy who is in the tech business for all his life. He has those two worlds in him. I was shocked, I was amazed, I was flattered that he would like to get me involved with his vision of what he thought was a perfect combination of an analog and a digital watch. My involvement was about giving him the confidence to move forward with something into the unknown. He was venturing into a place that most watchmakers would dare to go into. He took bold steps to make the Type 2, and I was kind of his wingman, the person prodding him, helping him to define and further um, understand what it is he was trying to do and make sure he was going to be successful at it without overstepping. It's ultimately um, a must for an industry to think, am I relevant today? When you are making a, a watch, a product, based on its function, well, you need to understand what is the world of today. If you truly make something that, that triggered their interests, they will come to you. The Type 2 is for us the incarnation of 21st century fine watchmaking. What we did is basically reinvent the crown of the mechanical watch with 21st century technology. E-Crown is an automated crown that sets the watch for you and that will allow you never to wind the watch anymore. A mechanical watch that sets itself automatically, how do you do it? My career has been defined by disruptive technology. And so I've witnessed how new markets and new products are adopted through the iPod, through the iPhone, through Nest, our, our smart thermostat. 
There are, are many people who don't understand those products when they first came out. But then there were a small set of people who really understood what it is we were trying to do. The Type 2 is exactly like that. It's something very new, it's very different. It's something that's important and will be the future of mechanical horology over time. Design thinking is important to results because we think first about the user. It's not about the watch or the product first, it's about the user. What is he going to do with it? What are his or her expectations? What do people want in a 21st century context? When you live in a world where uh, everything is kind of automated, um, do you expect that in your, uh, in your fine watch? We believe so. I've been always admirative of what Stefan Sagmeister is creating. You can never compare him to someone else. He has a very unique vision, a unique creative brain. When we had last year our 10th anniversary, I thought, let's ask Stefan to design the Type 3 again. Just from his point of view, with his philosophy, with his way of looking at the world. Ben Benoit actually called and asked if I want to design a new outer skin for the Type 3, this was a dream job for me. There is very surprisingly little out there that is contemporary. And of course, as a contemporary designer, I was very much attracted to Resons because they created a watch that you could clearly see was of the now. The incredibly innovative design and engineering part that Benoit came up with is definitely a delight to my heart. I just feel the obsessiveness through this piece. I do think that obsession ultimately leads to good work. There is very few of the important watch companies who truly design watches for our time. If you actually create something that is of its time, it's also automatically relevant. The fact that it's so different, it shows that change is possible. It encapsulates very optimistic feeling. The future is bright because you can you can still do things, you can still actively change things. It's by being creative that you evolve. So use the technologies of today and from yesterday, take the best of both, put them together for the next generation. By applying technology from the 21st century in the context of fine watchmaking, Type 2 really allows Ressence to be ahead of time.